Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome to another video of Digital Marketing Learning Course. In today's video, we'll be discussing how we can install WordPress on Google Cloud and also if you have any other website hosted on any other server like GoDaddy, HostGator or any other server, how we can migrate that blog or website from their server to Google Cloud. So let's get started and also like this video and also share and subscribe to my channel for future lectures. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to move over your existing WordPress website onto your new Google Cloud Platform instance. So the first step in doing this is to head over to our existing WordPress website. Now for me, my existing WordPress website. The next step is to go over to plugins, add new. And the plugin is called all in one WP migration. So search that and install that plugin. Okay, then activate it. All right, now you can see in the uh, left bar here, there's an icon for it. So we're going to go to export. Now remember, this is using our old WordPress website. This is the site that we want to transfer to our new Google Cloud instance. So we're going to click the export. And we're going to export it to a file. Now this usually takes a couple of minutes. All right, once that has finished downloading, we're going to head on over to our Google Cloud platform and we're going to log into the admin panel. Now, this is where our new website is going to be, and we're going to install the same plugin in our uh, new WordPress website. So, I've already installed it. And it's right here, all in one WP migration. I'm going to activate that. And now you see it just looks like it did on our old WordPress website. It appears in the left uh, column here. So now I'm going to do the import instead of export. I'm going to click import. And I'm going to click import from file. And in this case, I saved it on my desktop. So here's the file that we just exported from our old uh, WordPress website. So I'm going to click that, open, and right now it's going to import that website onto Google Cloud Platform. So that usually takes a few minutes here. Okay, perfect. Now that it's done importing, uh, if you do get an error message while it is importing your website, uh, just click OK. It's going to potentially ask you about overwriting uh, your existing database, and you want to confirm that. So after it's all imported, you are going to go to Settings and then Permalinks, because you need to change your uh, permalink structure. Now, the way I do this is just real easy. I just go to, um, I do plain. Save changes, and then I go back to post name, and that uh, save changes again, and that kind of resets the system a little bit. Um, perfect, save that, and then head up here to visit site, and there you go. You have your existing WordPress website, uh, just like it appeared on your uh, old hosting provider, but now it's on Google Cloud Platform. Uh, if you have any more que uh, questions, uh, leave a comment in the box below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and take care.